boys and girls, we're going to be doing two pages in our Reader's Notebook. This is Grade 1, Volume 1. We're in Lesson 13, and we're doing pages 191 and 192 right now. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll move this up a little bit. We're going to be choosing a season and then writing facts about the season. And so I'm reminding you about the seasons. We talked about how people look in the season. People look like like this girl. She she looks like this in the summer because, you know, it's, a, it's hot in the summer. Okay, and people look like this in the spring, right? They look like this in the winter when it's super cold on our planet. And they look like this. People look like this in the fall. So we dress differently. We look differently. Well, so do the trees. And so... In the spring, the trees have little leaves or little flowers on them. And spring comes after winter, and they, the trees start to grow their leaves. In the summer, the leaves get bigger. So summer comes after spring. So spring, then it becomes summer. And then in the fall, look how the tree changed. The leaves are changing color because the weather's getting cooler and drier. And then it circles around after fall we have winter and this season comes after fall and it leaves no leaves on the trees unless you're like a Christmas tree then or an evergreen tree then after winter it becomes spring again it just keeps on going round and round it takes a whole year for the four seasons to happen so um, I am going to once again I'm looking the other way I don't know which one I'm gonna pick but if I pick fall we're going to just put it back because we already did that one last time. Oh, I did fall. So I'm going to try it again. I'm looking the other way. I want to be fair. Winter. Let's do winter. We're only going to write about winter. So that's when, that's when, look at, he's dressed because it's, it's winter. It's super cold. There's no leaves on the branches. There's snow on the ground in many places, not where we live in California, but Many places have snow. You have to bundle up. So we're going to talk about winter. So we're only going to talk about winter. My topic is winter. Everyone write down winter. Now, if you were in class, you know, I'm making this video for moms who work and can't and don't want their kids on Internet So um, when they're not there. So if you were in class, I'd be asking you, like, Give me a fact about winter. But because you're not, I just have to mix them up. I know in the winter we celebrate Christmas. So you can say, um, we have Christmas. So along around December 25th, we have Christmas. In the, it's, you know, it, it's the holiday season. So winter is the holiday season. So we have Christmas in the winter. What else about winter? It's super cold. It is super cold. And so you have to dress differently, don't you? What else about winter? Do you remember? Let's look at this picture. Do you want to say the trees have no leaves? Let's just say that. Trees are bare. Bare means they have no leaves. Trees are bare. Okay. And then finally, we're going to have a closing sentence and we can just say something like, I like winter and I do. I like winter. So let's read this little mini report. Let's see, we have all these details here about winter. This is our topic. Oh, you can't see that. It says, winter, here's all our facts. We have Christmas, it is super cold, trees are bare, I like winter. Okay, boys and girls, let's do our next practice page. We're gonna have a test tomorrow. And so here is our, one of our last shots. Maybe your mom will make you practice the words more, but this is our last practice page in this book. OK, 
Okay, so let's read our spelling words that we're going to write tomorrow. Fish. Remember when Mrs. Gillum says the sh sound to write S-H. These two consonants make one sound. Sh. Fish. This word says when. The w sound in when is made by W-H. When. When is it lunchtime? Whip. I'm going to whip up some batter to make pancakes. Whip. W-H is what spells the w sound. If you forget the H, you're not going to get it right. So study. Shop. I'm going to shop at the grocery store. Shop. Ship. Ship. I've never been on a cruise ship yet. Ship. Okay, here's one. Which. Which costume are you going to wear for Halloween? Which. Okay, and then this was like, you know, a graph, a math graph. I don't have the picture with me, I don't think. Yes, I do. This is a challenge word, and it says graph. When I say the f sound, I expect you to use the PH digraph to spell it. So graph, spell it with a PH. Okay, and then finally the word shell. This is another ch challenge word, shell. And like I went to the beach and um, I got this shell, you know. All right, it has two L's in addition to the digraph sh at the beginning. So let's do this page. Spelling words with SH, WH, and PH. We're going to write the correct word to complete each sentence. The hmm has left. The shell has left. Ship has left. Chip has left. Ship has left. Sh -e -p. I hope you spell that right. Sh -ip. Hmm, way did he go? Which way did he go? Hey, that's it. Which? I don't know if you can hear some piano in the background, but that's my daughter. She has to do her lessons via Zoom because we're in the middle of a pandemic. Okay, number three. The hmm sells hats. The chop sells hats. The shop sells hats. That's it, the shop. How do we spell shop? Well, sh that's spelled with the S-H. Shop. Shop. Hmm, will you go? Where will you go? When will you go? When will you go? You know, it could either be where will you go or when will you go. I'm going to choose where. No, actually not, because where is not a spelling word. When is. So let's go ahead and write when. Just like you're going to have to do tomorrow on your test. When. Okay, next. Can you hmm the eggs? Can you win the eggs, why the eggs, whip the eggs? Whip. What makes the w sound in whip? You just have to remember that it's W-H. W -i -p. Whip. Whip. And then finally, the hmm are yellow. The dash are yellow. The fish are yellow. The dish are yellow. It must be the fish. Maybe they're like goldfish. Um, and so they just call them yellow, even though they're called goldfish. The fish are yellow. So there you have them, your spelling words. Ship, which, shop, when, whip, and fish. Hey, boys and girls, those are your practice pages for the day. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.